Hello friends, today I would like to show you the result of experiment I did with eight of my plants involving blocking natural plants hormone called gibberellin. I might be using these technical terms incorrectly, pronouncing them incorrectly, but I will post the correct spelling in the text under the video. Um, Gibberellin is one of the four main known plant hormones with which plant regulates its growth. Specifically Gibberellin has to do with making plant tall and the sections between leaves long and uh, fruiting, flowering, not too big. By blocking uh, the gibberellin with a compound called something met something like mepi quad chloride i was hoping for dwarfing the plant and or increasing the yield the compound i used is used commercially um, in growing cotton where it lowers the growth of plant, size of leaves, and increases the yield of cotton. I use this compound not because it's the only one known blocker of gibberellin. There is about 12 of them and uh, known, and I will uh, type them under the video for you. Uh, I use the one I used because it's easy to use, it's readily soluble in water and I uh, used about third of a teaspoon per cup of water and apply it foliarly. I spray it on the leaves once every three weeks. I chose eight plants, four desert roses, each different species or cultivar, and four ficuses, each again different species or cultivar. And in each case, the three Plants showed very small result and one showed huge difference to the many untreated plants I have. So let me just quickly get there and I'll show you the result of the folial application after several months of treatment. First I want to show you the best responding adenium. It's the cultivar is called mini and it's the one with a reddish flowers when mature, except I use it on uh, immature plants. Here it is, next to its untreated siblings. And as you can see, the treated plant is way smaller 
than the untreated plants. And the leaves also, the size of the leaves here, the untreated plant has a over three centimeters length, typical leaf, and a treated plant has over one centimeter length. And now I wanna show you a mature plant of ficus that responded best to the treatment. The ficus that responded best is a small leaf cultivar of a species ficus retusa. It rarely blooms and if then very sparingly when grown in a pot. But this plant, as you can see, is loaded with berries up and down the trunk. Amazing. And so, dear Burbanks and Michurins, if you would like to try this kind of experiment, I wholeheartedly recommend it to you. And once you get some results, I would love to know. You can type them in a comment section under the video.